Hello everyone and welcome on into Syndrome of Kind Case Souls Tarot. This is Sunny and I'm pleased to be with you all today. Mind you all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. Also do share <clears throat> if you know someone who needs to hear this message. Um, it is 3 a.m. Uh, right now and it is, I believe it's the 4th. Let me see. It is, it is February 4th. Um, we're going to be doing the reading for Aquarius. Um, Spirit told me to get on to uh, do the reading for Aquarius. So that's what we'll be doing today. Um, love Unlimited to you all. If you're new here, welcome on in. What we have therefore been put on notice of the requirement to love ourselves mercilessly. Um, we're going to be taking a look, take a deep dive here. And see what's going on in your energy, Aquarius. We invite all angels of light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, healers, and divine works um, on behalf of Aquarius at this time. What's happening for Aquarius? Let's get your core here today. The Knight of Cups. <clears throat> That's your very first card. Ooh, you have the Seven of Swords. You know, I find that interesting, Aquarius, that they popped out as your second card. Because while I was shuffling earlier, I did notice that that was near the bottom of the deck. Hmm. <clears throat> Capricorn energy. The moon. Something is being hidden from you, Aquarius. You got two pages here. There's several lies here that are being told. Several secrets here. You got two pages on the moon. You also have seven of swords energy. Um, communication here quickly. Emotional communication could be emotional manipulation here. Hmm. Something you're deeply rooted in, deeply invested in, Aquarius. Um, that you could very well be trying to heal from. You could be attempting to heal here from some lies that you've been told already. But there is definitely more to the situation, Aquarius. Um, because we have 
the moon underneath the four swords with two pages. Yeah, I mean, several lies here. Two pages for confirmation for the seven of swords. Something, things, secrecies. Um, more so. Ace of Pentacles. Something, the devil <laughs> is coming in between something here that you're working on. Something financially. You got the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you're doing an amazing job here, Aquarius, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but there's something off about it. Something very toxic. It could be in the workplace here, Aquarius. Something very toxic here. The devil coming in between the work that you're doing here to get to this Ace of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have, yeah, this, to stop you from moving forward. The Six of Swords. Yeah, there's people involved here. These crows I don't too much care for. They are black crows. Um, beneath the eyes. You need to look these people beneath the eyes, beneath the surface, Aquarius, what I'm saying. Also, we do have justice, but your justice is here. So you may, it may even involve a legal matter. Um, Aquarius, but your justice is here. You will prevail, whatever this is. And I really do feel it has something to do with this situation here with, with work. or with, If it's not work, it's some type of financial investment here. You could have owned your own business or, um, or working on something self-made. I just heard self-made. Um, let's take a deeper dive. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Spirits. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're dealing with some selfish people here. It's all in it for themselves. And this Nine of Pentacles energy... Definitely is in association with the devil. Capricorn energy. Judgment is here. There's the judgment right there. You have um, the judgment, major arcana, as well as the justice. So judgment is has been served here. Whatever this is you're dealing with on, these, on this person. There's a specific person. This may be... Um, Page of Cups. There's another page. I mean, you may have a group of people. Yeah, look at that. I mean, very quickly here at the bottom of the deck, um, Aquarius, you have the Page of Cups. That's another page. Um, and this is communication going on behind your back here. Communication. There's three pages. We also have the Six of Swords with these crows. There's people... Um, that are trying to create a false narrative on your reputation here. Um, look at that. Leaving you where you will feel the need to be on the defense here with the Seven of Wands energy. Eight of Pentacles coming up with a different plan here. See, you've been doing a lot of deep diving here. I did see the Hermit uh, Virgo energy. Ace of Swords, the truth's going to come out, Aquarius. Whatever it is, these lies that are being told on you, or whatever this is, the truth is going to come out. Let's find out more about the Seven of Swords. Because, see, there's a lie. Several lies, like I said. Secrecies. Whatever these secrets are, they're going to come out. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, Aquarius. What's going on for the Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, what did I say? Work. Three of Pentacles. At work or somebody you work with. Three of Pentacles. King, ooh. What's this? King of Cups. Aquarius. Empress. Yeah, see, so you got your person you're dealing with here and your love life showing up here. Somebody really loves you here with the King of Cups. 
but there may be a betrayal here. Um, Aquarius, you have the Three of Pentacles, which could represent a third party. Seven of Cups. Ooh, yeah, because you got the Empress. See, this is your energy, Aquarius. You're in this very loving. I mean, this person, they see you as a full package because Empress energy is Taurus energy. Whom embodies all of the queens of the entire tarot deck. Um, so, you know, your, your, your boss moves, but behind that is the Seven of Cups. So, this person has other options here, and I really don't like that in association with the Knight of Wands. This is the least trustworthy knight of the entire tarot deck. Um, so, you could be dealing with, let's find out more. Why is the King of Cups here, spirits? Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> you know something, Aquarius? Whatever these this betrayal is, it really is. See, things are about to turn in your favor. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, and the Three of Pentacles. And this really has something to do, like I said, with work. Or if you're working on some type of business deal or in business with somebody, whoever the third, there's the third party or third wheel or somebody that's involved with this, in this with you, that you've been working together with. Somebody that you love and care about. Um, but things are going to go in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune Whatever betrayal here <clears throat> or whatever they've been deceiving you with, like I said, is financial. It's, the truth is going to come out with this Ace of Swords energy and the Wheel of Fortune. And whatever they were doing to cause you harm, um, they're not going to prevail. Um, eight of Wands, you'll be receiving communication about this pretty soon, too. You know, from somebody important, the King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Temperance. Yeah, see? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Why is Temperance here? Balancing of the scales. Four of Pentacles. See, you're going to be... See, you're being very smart here, Aquarius. See? You're protecting your assets. Uh, Spirit just told me that. You're protecting your assets here. You're protecting your reputation. You're protecting your loyalty here. Yeah, see, and you doing, by you doing this, see, um, these people have the impression that they have you stuck, see, um, based on whatever this, these secrets are. And these secrets very well have something to do with with this this uh, business deal or with work. Some type of secrets these people don't want to be discovered. And they've been believing they've been holding you hostage, you know. And this hangman energy. But you've made a decision here, an important decision. Or an important decision has been made or is being made by, like I said, somebody important. The emperor is showing up here. But I see you showing up in the energy as the high priestess, Aquarius. So you're very intuitive here. Um, that's the four of pentacles here. Four of cups. Yeah, see, you're looking at it as a missed opportunity here. See, you're going to get out of this before it explodes. That's what I'm really feeling. You escaping before it all explodes. That's the message of your reading today. Because <laughs> something is about to explode. And it has to do with work. Or your financial system. Your stability. Foundation. Um, four of Swords. Look at that. Yeah. You got the Ten of Wands. 
And then you got the two of wands. Yeah, see? This struggle is about to be over. See, whatever's been going on, this struggle with these people, the truth, once the truth comes out, which it already probably has or will, that's what's going to set you free from this, this turmoil and this struggle. The Ten of Wands energy. And then you're going to be trying to decide which way do I go now. Um, trying to heal after all of this. And then you're just going to be waiting. Like I said, you showed up as the high priestess being very intuitive about um, what move to make. What's going on with these pages? Page of Swords, please. Nine of Wands. Yeah, wounded. Yeah, somebody's playing the victim here. See, you got some people. They're playing the victim card. There's the Queen of Cups. These are people you trust. See, or you trusted at some point. I'm really saying that. And I'm almost, like I said, we did talk about love earlier. But I'm really feeling a huge energy around trust with these Queen of Cups and King of Cups energy. There's something about trust being broken here, as we can see. And I think this is, like I said... Um, there definitely could be love shared here, but I really feel um, that somebody is playing the victim card here. And they could definitely be sabotaging your love or undervaluing the value of your love um, and using that as a crutch in order to betray you, <clears throat> in order to keep these secrets. Here, oh, look at that death. This is coming to an end. See? And the truth is going to put this to an end. Yeah, what you were blinding yourself to. I just saw the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Ten of swords. Ooh, major betrayal. Aquarius, major betrayal. And this is going to end in betrayal. You got to be careful, Aquarius. Yeah, about these people that you trust. Queen of Cups. Why is the devil here? Six of cups. Oof. Yeah, this is somebody. Yeah, you got the you could be dealing with somebody, um, soulmate connection here. This could be an ex, but definitely soulmate. You got the six of cups. I know I felt that energy still for a lot of you. Where you're dealing with somebody, yeah, deeply that you love. Oh, wow, look at that. The three of swords at the bottom of the deck. This person broken your heart. There's a lot of heartbreak here. This devil energy. Oh, there's the lovers. The decision between two. What did I say, Aquarius? Yeah, there's somebody else in the picture. I saw that. They could have some type of scheme going on behind your back, Aquarius. For those of you dealing with the relationship issue and all these pages, I mean, there's a whole scheme going on behind your back, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work, um, Aquarius. The world, yeah. This cycle, this, it's been a cycle. See this here? You've been dealing with this person. This has been a cycle. You've been in this uh, karmic cycle. And a lot's being hidden here. This world card is showing up here for confirmation of the moon. Yeah, there's the queen of cups. They keep showing up in your reading today, Aquarius. You need to... That spirit saying you need to end this cycle. What else for the moon, please? Yeah, an ending to the secrets. An ending to the lies. Six of Pentacles, yeah. See, this person here, like I said, there's some breadcrumbing going on. You know, a karmic cycle, karmic wheel. That's another reason why that Wheel of Fortune card is there. Yeah, and you've been doing, like I said, a lot of deep digging here internally. Really thinking about what to do. Let's 
seven of wands. Yeah, like I said, on the defense. Hmm. God. See, and what you you see this car? You see those two foxes back there in the back, just sitting and watching while you two fight. Those are those people, those two pages I'm talking about. There's two important people. There's there could possibly be more Aquarius, but there's two main people involved here. And they just sit and they just they they do all this with these secrets and all of this and create all this drama and they just sit back and watch. Waiting on everything to fall. Those crows I'm talking about earlier. The Empress. Yeah, there's the Empress again. Yeah, see this these people, they're jealous of you, Aquarius. They're jealous of you. They're envious of your humility. But that's what's really interesting about this. They're 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 envious of your humility, your loyalty, your passion. Um, they just can't move or do what you do, you know. And this could be friends. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they obsess over you. <clears throat> Taking foolish risks causes them to do things out of character. Um as it relates to you. That's that devil energy too. Mm. Yeah, but you're escaping. Like I said before, it's too late. There's the food car. That's you escaping this. That's you moving forward. Taking a leap of faith. Um, page of, there's no, they're going to try to stop you, Aquarius. Be careful. Like I said, there's the page again. I really don't um, like that energy. Yeah, trying to stop you from something very important that you're working towards. There's the star now. This is your energy, Aquarius. Aquarius energy. Wish fulfillment. And that showed up right next to the Ace of Pentacles. There's something major that you're on the precipice of obtaining here. And you got some people really that don't want to see you make it. They don't want to see you make it in your relationship or professionally. Two of Swords. Yeah, see, this is what you've been blinding yourself to, Aquarius. <clears throat> you've been blinding yourself. Yeah, to these people that you trust. There they are again, Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Yeah, look at that. I mean, these people are obsessed with you. It's 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 almost scary, Aquarius. King of Pentacles. They're obsessed with your money. They're obsessed with your status, with who you are. The sun. Look at that. Look at that, Aquarius. This is the happiest card of the entire tarot deck. This is what these people, they hate to see you happy. They hate to see you shine, Aquarius. And, and, uh, oh, I, I forgot I had these cigarettes in here. Um, excuse me, um, uh, everybody. But, um, <clears throat> they don't want to see you happy. They don't. They don't want to see you shine. That's so sad. And you're gonna, they're going to force you to walk away. They don't want to see you walk away either, Aquarius. Because if you walk away, they won't be able to manipulate you anymore. Magician. They won't be able to manipulate you anymore. And they see you coming up with a new plan, Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> a plan that doesn't include their secrets, their lies anymore. Queen of Swords, you stood up for yourself. You're taking yourself back, Aquarius. You're committing yourself to yourself once again. And see, this is not the energy. See, they thought this plan was going to work, but the truth is going to come out, Aquarius. The truth is going to come out. Like I said, it may have already happened. You're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Let's see if we got any messages. Current situation. Give us messages for current situation here. Or what could this be concerning? <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna just clean this up a second here. Aquarius, give me one second. Any messages for Aquarius? I don't trust myself. Deception. What did I say, Chris? There it is again. That's the seven of swords in a chain. And there's, see, <clears throat> that's another thing they're trying to do. It's a deceptive energy, the devil energy, too, like I talked about. It's trying to get you not to trust yourself. But the real, that's the real insecurities of whoever you're dealing with. They don't trust themselves. You know, see? That's why they're saying, I need you and want you back for good. Aquarius. But there, there's deception here. So, like I said, you got to be careful. Yeah. And this is an issue of ego and pride. Yeah. And this person lives in fear. These people live in fear. Whoever you're dealing with. Yeah. What did I say, Aquarius? Some of you may definitely be dealing with a legal matter. But like I said, it will be going in your favor. So I did see the judgment card. I did see also the justice card. Libra energy. Balancing of the scales. We also did receive um, from spirit the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. With those three energies, I mean, there's no way that you won't be. Yeah. What did I say at the bottom of the... Um, getting out of the situation on top, Aquarius. But at the bottom of the deck, we see working together. What did I say? Spirit further confirming some people you're working with that you cannot trust, that you thought you could, Aquarius. So be careful with those people. Um, any messages from Wisdom of the Dove? Obstruction of chakras. These people. They're trying to obstruct your chakras. Yeah, but you are a tower of light, Aquarius. Yeah, the breaking of barriers. You break the chains. See, you're very powerful. And I believe I told you all that before, Aquarius. Mission of your infirmities. Yeah, see, be careful with these people you're dealing with, Aquarius. There's, there's some snakes, okay? Some snakes in the grass. They're trying to get you to fall for some type of trap. And I really see that in your energy. They're trying to get you to take the fall for whatever's going on. Six-dimensional power. A level of consciousness which is articulated by way of spiritual entrance. A mist seeking divine encounters of truth. Yeah, see, don't let your ego, don't let your pride get in the way, Aquarius. Be very smart and be very strategic, okay? Um, and allow spirit to lead you. Like I said, you did show up. A lot of you are very spiritual. You showed up as the high priestess. So I know 
that you all are capable of operating in this sixth dimensional power. And this is a level of consciousness that would allow you to um, harness the attributes necessary in order to not fall prey to the victim, excuse me, victimization of self, which would be falling prey to ego and pride. Um, yeah, restriction of the soul by way of spiritual moment. Yeah, that's that devil energy. You got to be careful. Like I said, Aquarius, what time is it? 30? I'm going to let you guys go. Pushing yourself into the pathways of awareness and clarity on the inside. What did I say, Aquarius? And I love to be seeing this at the bottom of the, uh, you know, upon this last card for shuffling. Because that awakening, also that sun card was the awakening. See, you were wearing those rose-colored glasses, that two of swords energy. There was a rejection of truth. But you are now pushing yourself into the pathways of consciousness that would allow you to accept the truth about this scenario, about these people, about what's going on. And that's what's going to catapult you um, out of falling prey to this. Because like I said, these people, they're trying to get you to take the fall. And um, very interesting that that showed up for confirmation for a legal matter. <laughs> Isn't that something? So like I said, don't trust these people, Aquarius. All right, you guys. I love you all so much. I'm going to let you all go. But thank you so much for tuning in. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And do share if you know someone who needs to uh, hear this message. Love unlimited to you all. Namaste. Blessings and abundance to you all on your magnificent journey. And may the eagle rise above your mountain at all times. I'll see you all soon.